The numbers do not look good. 70% of the world's population face water scarcity at least one month a year, while 500 million people, about 6% of the population, face clean water access issues all year long. Right now, one in 10 people in the world doesn't have access to uh, improved water supplies. Water is at the core of sustainable development and is critical for socioeconomic growth, energy and food production, healthy ecosystems, and for human survival itself. Water is also at the heart of adaptation to climate change, serving as the crucial link between society and the environment. Hi everyone, I am Nika Zhang, and like you, I want to understand what is causing clean water shortages. What are all of the factors that are creating stress on all of us? And what can federal governments, cities, manufacturers, and we the people do to help counteract this growing issue? Companies are driving innovation, working with entrepreneurs uh, and other stakeholders to identify technologies that give them the ability to manufacture with less water or no water, and also to reuse water over and over again. Water is also a human rights issue. As the global population grows, there is an increasing need to balance all of the competing commercial demands on water resources so that communities have enough for their needs. We just passed the bipartisan infrastructure bill, which is so, so monumental for our country to rebuild it. And it's about an eight to 10 year process to get everything back up into working order. Bridges, uh, roads, water. Coming up this summer on the Science Channel, Motor Trend TV, and the Discovery Science Go app, we will examine the causes of water shortages and what is being done to address this in the US. And take a closer look at what one company has developed and is implementing throughout its manufacturing operation to collect rainwater and reuse it again and again. We are looking at our place in the watershed of each of our communities. Rather than just doing no harm, we want to provide positive value and, and do good and be the best uh, neighbors uh, in our communities. Narrated by Adrian Grenier, who will show us how climate change has affected how rivers, aquifers, streams and lakes deliver water to needed areas, and how the population shift over the past years will only add to the stress of seeking clean water. But there are solutions. We will speak with scientists, authors, experts on water, and Toyota environmental engineers who are devoted to using less water in each of its facilities as part of its goal to be carbon neutral in the years ahead. Technology and innovation to capture rainwater to use over and over again in manufacturing is here now, and we will take a closer look at how brilliant minds are determined to solve these important issues and lead the way in the near future. Water, we have too much, but not enough. That's coming up this summer on the Discovery Networks.